as I said, it's picnic time on JJ's cookbook and um, I have got some wonderful uh, picnic uh, food prepared, I'm going to prepare for you. Now, we always wonder what to take for uh, picnics or uh, what a good um, food is for an appetizer. Now, what I'm going to show you now is to do with eggs. Now, eggs are a firm favorite of everyone's. This is very, very, very simple. And um, it is uh, a sort of go with the flow uh, recipe because you can put anything in it, all your leftover ingredients, whatever you have in the refrigerator, you can chuck it in and it can be made into a family frittata. Now, um, like I said, it's very nutritious, very healthy, very quick, very economical. So let's go ahead. Now, what I'm going to show you is a broccoli and mushroom uh, frittata. Now, I have 100 grams of broccoli out here and uh, I have uh, around about 100 grams of mushroom. So let's get started. Um, I need to first light the fire. And while I light the fire, I'm going to put uh, these mushrooms. Now, sauteing mushrooms, these mushrooms have been uh, cleaned properly and uh, they have been chopped. Now, what you have to remember is when you actually clean mushrooms, don't uh, keep them in water because mushrooms have a quality of absorbing liquid. And what happens is the taste of the mushrooms tends to, uh, well, uh, you know, be reduced and um, it will be full of water. So that's not what we want. We have to um, clean them, clean the mushrooms under running water uh, till they're clean and chop off all the dirt and everything. Now here what I'm doing is, I need a little bit of oil. Now if you are not health conscious, you can uh, use butter, but I am not. So uh, I plan to use a little bit of canola oil. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is, um, uh, what you have to remember while you saute mushrooms is never, never stir when uh, the mushrooms are in the pan because if you stir it will not it will take a long time uh, to cook that's what i have uh, gathered till now so what you have to do is just shake it or just leave it like that okay so let that saute on its own okay while uh, that is going on now these broccoli have to be steamed just a bit so the, the crunch is still there. Now these broccoli are very, it's, you know, I've taken all the stalk and I've cleaned it well. So it's uh, totally clean. So what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to just steam it in the microwave. Now you can steam it uh, over the hob, no problem. Um, just like for probably um, 15 seconds or something. Very, very quick so that you know it still retains its color and um, and its nutritive value so we don't want it soggy and um, you know kind of mushy we want it well just uh, all dante that means we want it crisp so i think that's roundabout enough okay now while that's going on keep an eye on your mushrooms okay so now you can see the water is, uh, has been coming out uh, or is coming out and let the water evaporate. Now, while that is go going on, what I need is uh, some spring onions, three to four, no problem. I mean, it all depends upon how much really uh, you want. Now, if you don't have broccoli or mushrooms, you can add any other vegetables. Also, you can add um, no non-veg items like um, meat or pepperoni, sausage, whatever, whatever you have in the fridge. Okay, so in that goes along with the mushrooms. And we need around, well, three cloves of garlic. So there we go. These are big garlic. The thing about uh, frittata, Spanish omelets 
um, they require potatoes. Frittata um, requires cheese, either Italian cheese like mozzarella, okay, or any sharp mature cheddar, whatever cheese you have uh, at home. And toss this around. This is doing wonderful. And um, well, yeah, now I've got here um, Leicester cheese, which is a kind of red cheese. You can also use mature cheddar cheese, but this is Leicester cheese. Um, Leicester is a place in London, England. And um, I love this sort of cheese because it's, well, more, more or less like the cheddar, but a bit more crumbly, that's all. Now I can stir it. Once uh, the, the water, the moisture of the mushrooms has been evaporated, now you can stir if you want to. That is to aid uh, the spring onions and uh, the garlic, okay? Now, a little bit of salt. Be careful um, to be, uh, you, you should be careful because we are going to add uh, Leicester cheese, which is also, you know, it has salt. So be careful, go easy on the salt. Okay, this is rock salt. So go easy on the salt. Taste and see, um, don't over salt your eggs or frittata or Spanish omelet or whatever. If you do, oh, it's no good. Mm. Meanwhile, we need six eggs. Well, it's a family frittata. You can add six to eight eggs, depending. Now, if you're the type of person who is very, very uh, conscious of your cholesterol level, then uh, you can uh, actually uh, substitute it. You can add, um, well, 12 egg whites instead of uh, six uh, eggs. Because, um, you know, if you, if you really are very uh, scared about having a lot of... Um, egg yolks. Now, um, with that, we need bell pepper. This is like uh, red bell pepper or red capsicum. <clears throat> this has been chopped. And um, just to add color. Oh, so beautiful. And together with this, we need 100 grams of broccoli, which has been steamed. Oh, look at this, so beautiful. While it's sorting, let's get on with the eggs. Six eggs, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and the last one, six. Yes. And I need a whisk. I need to whisk my eggs. Now, since we're uh, adding um, cheese, we'll have to use the grill. Okay, now this has been whisking away. I'm going to add a little bit of salt in this too, making sure not to add too much because you can add if it's, you know, a little less, but you can't do anything if it's more. And pepper. Hmm. Mix it all up. Before that, I need to uh, switch on the grill. So, wait a minute. I need to, this is a, just the grill, okay? Uh, not the oven. I'm not going to bake it, I'm just going to grill it. Now, you'll see what I'm talking about. We're going to uh, add uh, the eggs. Let the bottom part, okay, uh, cook well. And um, cook well in the sense, let, let it set. So you have to keep it on very low flame, very, very low flame. Now, um, because uh, Lest cheese is very crumbly. It's very soft. See, so you can just you know uh, crumble it with your fingers. You don't have to grate it. It's very soft and very crumbly. And the thing is that it gives a beautiful um, sort of color 
to it. So, you know, it's lovely. Cheese is a must um, for uh, the frittata. And let the underside be set. Then what we do is we leave a plate, okay, an oven proof plate, uh, which has to be oiled first. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to slip this, gently uh, transfer this, gently transfer this in, onto the uh, oiled plate. And then we um, transfer or we show it or we put it in the grill. Now the underside of the frittata uh, is done, okay. Okay, now this is done. All we have to do is we have to cook the top part and we are going to place it in the grill. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to be very careful so that it does not, it's on 200, uh, it uh, does not burn. Otherwise it's, you know, you get a burnt frittata and uh, that's not very good. So you have to be careful to watch out. Uh, it probably will only take five minutes or something, but you have to be very, very careful. If you're not uh, very, um, well, if you're not very confident, then you can uh, keep it 280, but you have to always have a look. Um, be on the lookout so that the top part of uh, the actual frittata is done. So let this be ready. By the time we'll do an Italian salad and we'll come back right. Now, while uh, the frittata is in the oven, I thought of making an Italian salad. It's a very, very easy salad. All you need is any kind of leaves. It can be uh, lettuce leaves or spinach or uh, rocket leaves, anything, and uh, some tomato and uh, well, any Italian herbs. Now I've got um, thyme out here, okay? and this is fresh thyme. Otherwise, um, you can uh, use basil, fresh basil. Uh, if you don't have anything, you know, you can ha use the actual dried ones. But when you use the dried ones, you have to be careful to add very little uh, because they're very much more stronger than the fresh ones. And a garlic clove, doing a, a very, very uh, quick salad with a very quick dressing. So um, you need some fresh, mm, lovely. Now this can be any type of, you can use romaine um, lettuce, any type of lettuce. You can actually, you don't have to actually chop it like me, you can, you know, just look at these lovely, mm, very crisp. It's perfect with the soft frittata. Just a bit more for the green effect. Okay, then we need two tomatoes. You can actually chunk it up, no problem. If you want, you can add um, a little bit, a half of a spring onion. It's not very necessary. If you have one lying around, just a little bit not too much. And uh, you need two. And um, I need my salad tosser, salad tosser, which I'll need to toss uh, after I put the dressing. Let that be there. Now uh, let's make the dressing. The dressing is, well, mm, we need extra virgin olive oil, around, well, five tablespoons and some balsamic vinegar, okay. So, oh, I forgot to have my coffee. Mm. And five tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, extra virgin. Okay, now extra virgin olive oil is the purest form of uh, olive oil and the best for salads because you don't cook salads. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Now, if you don't like balsamic vinegar or you don't have it, you can use cider vinegar or red wine vinegar or plain vinegar. Just two tablespoons. 
Okay. Just put this back from where I took it from. And, oh, just look at this. So pretty. Um, then what we need is a little bit of thyme leaves. Just a bit, not too much. What, two sprigs or something. Because thyme is strong. Okay. And uh, one clove of garlic. A small one is more than enough. Right? If you don't want garlic, um, you don't. You can avoid, but it's really good. Very tasty. Very healthy too. Good for your cholesterol levels. And uh, with a small whisk, I have to put my salt and pepper. Just mix it along. A little bit of salt. According salt according to taste not too much and pepper give it a stir and pour it over the salad mm, lovely now you can add a bit of olives if you want to make it even more Italian and just toss everything okay once that's done okay you can actually um, put on some uh, olives now you can put like I said you can garnish it with a little bit of olives make sure they're seedless olives just a few And uh, your, uh, well, Italian salad is done. Italian salad along with the frittata is the best. Now, the salad is done, the Italian salad. Well, what we have to um, look for is the frittata, which must have been done already. I switched off the oven, otherwise we'd get to burnt frittata. Okay, be very careful when you take it out. Don't burn your fingers. Very, very hot. And um, this is done. Okay. Uh, it's perfect on it. It's more like a pizza. It's very colorful, very uh, nutritious because of all the vegetables, the cheese, and everything. And um, along with uh, the perfect Italian salad, uh, it is absolutely divine uh, brunch uh, wonderful for a Sunday brunch or well anytime you're feeling lazy this is the perfect thing whatever you want to if you want to use your leftover ingredients if you really want to finish off it's, if it's your shopping day and you want to finish off everything in the refrigerator this is the best way make a frittata and add anything you want in it uh, with a green salad or an Italian salad, whatever salad, it's absolutely wonderful and I hope you enjoy it.